Honestly, the title says it all. Clone Wars fix many problems of the prequels and adds more emotional weight to Revenge of the Sith and his phenomenal television show. So a lot of problems that people had with the prequels were that Anakin Skywalker was not a good character. So I'm going to be getting into why this kind of makes him a better character. It shows Anakin's fall to the dark side in a more nonced fashion and it has relationships exhibited on how he cares for his friends and family but also that he cares too much sometimes which one will you choose to save your master huh. or your apprentice you must now release the guilt and free yourself by choosing no their powers are too strong for us anakin Save Ahsoka! Let them go. Only you can make my children release them. Anakin! The planet is the Force. Use it. We also happen to see the Council's distrust and to keep things from him, further contributing to the delusioned nature in Revenge of the Sith. The Council wants you to report on all the Chancellor's dealings. They want to know what he's up to. They want me to spy on the Chancellor. But that's treason. We are at war, Anakin. Why didn't the council give me this assignment when we were in session? This assignment is not to be on record. The Chancellor is not a bad man, Obi-Wan. He befriended me. He's watched out for me ever since I arrived here. Obi-Wan Kenobi in A New Hope describes him as a cunning warrior, a good friend, and an excellent pilot. We don't see this in the prequels. How did my father die? A young Jedi named Darth Vader who was a pupil of mine until he turned to evil, helped the Empire hunt down and destroy the Jedi Knights. He betrayed and murdered your father. Now the Jedi are all but extinct. Vader was seduced by the dark side of the Force. The piloting in Revenge of the Sith and throughout the prequels, we see him accidentally destroy a navy, and say a bunch of complicated mumbo jumbo but in the clone wars we actually see him do smart and intelligent feats as well as pull out strategies that otherwise wouldn't have worked and also how he destroys admiral trench's ships for example Not only that, but we see his relationship with Obi-Wan and is much better. We see them actually chat and joke around. We see them banter and care about each other. They fight together, they argue, but they don't trash each other or verbally spark like 90% of the prequels. An interesting detail in the, the Clone Wars is that every time we see Anakin fight another Force sensitive, we see him have an easier time every time, especially with Dooku. He used to struggle with Dooku in Season 1 and Season 2, but by Season 5 we can see that Dooku and Anakin are clearly even. Some other great details is obviously the clones. We follow the small squad from Kamino all the way to being ARC troopers. We see them grow and question superiors and struggle to fit in and be individual in an army. Just like them, Rex, Echo, Fives, Waxer, all the brothers. We also see some last stands from some lesser known clones like Thorn, Heavy, and Hardcase. Honestly, the best part of the Clone Wars right there. Maul's terrific, we get to see 
one man trying to conquer the universe and inflict as much pain as he can on the man that robbed him of his future. It's beautiful. It's great. Savage is cool too. They actually have a real relationship. But this moment, and now, the perfect tool for my vengeance is in front of us. I never planned on killing you, but I will make you share my pain, Kenobi. Not only that, but we get Ahsoka Tana, which has an amazing relationship with Anakin Skywalker, and we kind of see how Anakin is as a teacher, and how he struggles to teach Ahsoka, but nonetheless, their relationship is just as good, I'd say, as Obi-Wan and Anakin's. The animation towards the end is phenomenal, the battles are fantastic and awe-inspiring. Just watch it, goddammit. Even with that baby crap Rebels and Resistance, this blows it out of the sky. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Tell me what other videos you'd like to see in the comment section down below. And as always, this has been Entertainment Crew, out.